Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create or add menu bar to your JavaFX application. Okay, so let's start by creating a project. Go to File, New, and then Other. Under JavaFX, click on the JavaFX project. For the project name, JavaFX menu bar. Click on finish. Okay. And then let's create a file which is of type FXML document. Click on this one and click next. So menu scene and then click on finish okay now we need to make changes to this main that java file so we need to include the that fxml file into our java code so in order for us to do that we need to define parent the root equals fxml loader that load then the keyword get class after you need to get resources of course with our fxml file which is the menu scene that fxml okay we need to delete the border pane root at the top Okay, and import the fxml under the javafx.fxml package and of course we need to import the class parent okay so there you have it we we have a basic um window with the size of 400 by 400 but let's make it um, maybe 800 by 400 or let's make it smaller 650 by 350 okay Let's remove this unused import of border pane at the top. Next, let's open our menu scene that the XML so that we could work on adding the menu bar to our uh, Java FX application. So open up with scene builder. Wait for a few seconds to load. Okay. So we have here an empty structure of our menu scene that picks them up. So let's delete the anchor pane first. So we're gonna need another container to work with our JavaFX menu bar. So let us see. Let us use the border pane. So go ahead and drag it to the uh, box here and then in our code we use the size 650 by 350 so let's define it also for our uh, window here or the properties here at the scene builder so let's make it 650 by 350 cool okay so let's add a menu bar for our javafx application so let's go ahead and search for menu bar so we have here the option for menu bar all we have to do is drag it to the window and make sure that it is inserted at the top of the options for border pane so the border pane has 
left, center, right, and insert at the bottom area. So the menu bar should go at the top, of course. Now the menu bar has three default menus the file, edit, help, but we could add few or as many as we want to the menu bar so for example we want to add another one for um, the about section of our application okay and also we could add menu item for this different menus so let's go ahead add items so, so for example the file we just have to drag also and make sure it is added to the uh, correct menu. Okay. So by default, the menu has or the file menu has menu item close and our added menu item. Okay. And after that one, we can rename our item into something like save okay so if we're going to preview our window we now have a very basic menu bar with different menus and menu items and also we could add action to this menu items so, so for example we want to uh, add action to this close menu item so all we have to do is go to the hierarchy of our components so close and then add our action to this one so so for example the name of our action would be um, maybe exit or close window something like that close window and then click on save so make sure that the changes are saved because it won't reflect to your fxml file here at the ID eclipse or eclipse ID so in our menu that uh, fxml file we need to add the controller class for this particular scene so all we have to do is right click on this file and then source generate controller so the default name is menu scene controller so let's just click on ok and also it detected our uh, define action on the fxml file which is the closed window so let's just click on ok now let's go back to our scene builder application and then under the document or I mean the controller part let's define the controller that we have just created the menu scene controller so click copy or control copy the class and then um, paste it in here as the controller class and then click save or file and then save now let's define the um, close window method that is auto generated so so for example the purpose of the menu item close is to exit the application so we just have to type in system that exit and of course the parameter which is zero now let's try to run our application but before that we need to save so file save to make sure that our changes is being saved and also before we forgot we need to make changes to this 
um, plus the Minosin controller again needs to uh, implement initial uh, initializable implements initializable and we need to import the uh, initializable change to initialize we have wrong spelling here initializable here we import initializable and then this also has an implement an implemented method so we need to add this one so um public void initialize so this is where you need to initialize the components if you want at the scene builder that you have defined but for now let's uh, leave this blank okay save the changes and make sure that our menu scene that fxml has the controller class application that menu uh, scene builder okay save changes and save changes here so let's try to run our application great so it has the menu bar with the menus file edit help about so if you try to click on the close menu so it should close the window itself now we could try to add the um, actions or methods for those different menus too so let's go ahead and um, define the actions for different menus so for example the uh, under the file we have um, save so menu save and the about also has another action so, um, so for some version so this should be about the version of this application okay and then with the action add menu version cool now let's go back with our menu uh, menu scene controller so let's define those actions here public void public void menu version with the action event event and then let's just say we need to display I our menu item for version is click okay let's define another one for what's that we need to make sure that we have the same name so menu save copy and paste here then action event event and then menu item for save is click then save then run your application so if you try to click on the action should uh, it should display uh, that the menu item of version is click okay and also for the save but for now it's not working because we need to refresh the project itself to reflect the changes okay okay so we now have the version menu item and also uh, the save so it should display 
message that the version menu item is click okay so there you go menu item for version is click click and file menu item for save is click great I think that's all there is to it in creating your JavaFX menu bar. Thanks.